This is Blake Canary Board Worker, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of the Bosch CS10 Circular Saw. I don't really know which way to open this. This opened. So just open from this end. <clears throat> okay, so this is the first front view that we get when we open up the box. Bags in the back. Looks like the manual's to the right and the saw obviously is in the middle. Okay, so I'll start pulling it out. So here's the bag. This is a job site bag. I'll slide this. Up. Bottom of the box is the blade wrench. Okay. Looks pretty nice. So it has a nice big base. And the long cord, that is always what you need. It looks really nice actually. <laughs> the blade that it comes with a seven and a quarter 24 tooth and, I, and it's um bosch very light it's for framing but i'll practically just use it for anything and it has a nice cover on it so it's not sharp at all um and the uh, owner's manual and stuff okay now let's take a look at the saw I'm going to bring the camera in a little closer. Okay. So, like I said, it has a nice long cord, it looks like. Um, this extra feature... I don't know if you push in. Looks like you push, pull. Oh, you just turn it. This is made for, like, hooking onto a board or something to hook it onto. Uh, um, <clears throat> just hold it so you don't have to set it on the ground. It has nice handles, a nice trigger, nice indicated angle guide. Um, it says it has stops at 22 and a half degrees and 45 degrees, I think is what it is. Yeah, and at 45 degrees. Right there's at 90. That looks down nicely. And has a nice gauge right here. Is that four? Oh, that comes way up here. It's for the depth gauge, obviously. That's a quarter of an inch, has a positive stop. Half inch stop, three quarter stop, and two X. So I'm guessing that is a two by four. So that's nice to have. And the handle comes around back right here, across. So you don't have to get your hand in there like my old saw. So I really like the feel of it. I think it's a nice saw. I guess we can go ahead and put the blade in it. And it says it has a locking spindle, which I see the button is right here. So I'll go ahead and make sure this is in the camera. Okay. So I'll go ahead and push this button in, which is right here. And 
I always get these mixed up which way I think it says if you are tightening it. I think they're opposite. Nope. I don't think so. Well, this wrench is kind of hard to stay on. Keeps wanting to slide off. It's actually hard to uh, keep the wrench on. It's the same size both ways. Okay. I don't know if it is 90 degrees. I'm thinking it is. This comes off. This flange stays on. Take off the cover on the blade. It's plastic coating cover. This is really nice. It's a really, th wow, that is really thin. It's the thinnest blade I've seen. It's so light. Hmm. It shows right there how the flanges go on. Okay. Now the, this flange can go back on. And this bolt. Pushing the lock. It's a little difficult, like I said, to keep that wrench in there. Oh, that's slippy. There, I didn't push it in all the way. Okay. Yeah, I like it. So I think I'm gonna go do some. I don't know if I'll do some test on it really. I'll probably end up cutting something with it tonight. I have my Craig like plywood cutter thing that I'll probably hook it up into. It has a little chart here, rafter angle chart. Common raft from rafter roof angles, hip and belly rafter roof angles. There's a bunch right there. So yeah, overall, I, I think it's a nice saw. Well, it comes with a nice bag. I have the Bosch um, Orbital Sander, and it has a bag like this, but smaller. And the bag is pretty durable. Sorry about the lighting. Didn't really notice that until now. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.